children warm greetings i'm your science teacher miss tabia today we are going to discuss about chapter solids liquids and gases in this chapter we will learn about matter elements compounds states of matter molecular arrangement molecular force of attraction interchangeability of states of matter and changes so let us begin if we will look around us we can see our home books stationery our family plants animals we feel air what is common in all of them all of them have some mass and occupy space more or less but all of them have some mass and occupy space such things are known as matter so we can define matter as anything that has mass and occupy space now what is this matter made up of this matter is made up of extremely small particles known as molecules which are further made up of atoms and atoms are even smaller take an example of book pen your teacher we are all made up of atoms and molecules these atoms do not combine randomly they combine in definite number and in definite manner to form molecules for example water water is made up of numerous water molecules these water molecules are further made up of atoms two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom so two hydrogen atoms combine with oxygen atom to form water molecules wherever you go in the world wherever you will see water be it lakes oceans water coming to your home all of them all of it have same composition two hydrogen and one oxygen so we should understand that atoms do not combine randomly they combine in definite proper manner now children these molecules are of two different types one is element another is compound now what is the difference between element and compound both of them are molecules element is made up of same types of atoms for example oxygen we cannot live without oxygen we breathe in oxygen it is necessary for our survival this oxygen gas is made from oxygen molecules but each oxygen molecule is made up of only oxygen atoms no other atom is there only oxygen atoms so we can say it is element pure substance but when we talk about compounds compounds are made up of different types of atoms for example carbon dioxide we know carbon dioxide it is the part of our atmosphere it's a greenhouse gas it is made up of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms so different types of atoms it's not only carbon it's not only oxygen but carbon and oxygen so different types of atoms come together to form carbon dioxide molecule and all these molecules together form the carbon dioxide gas so that is a compound here we should understand that element is a pure substance it is made up of same types of atoms while as compound is a molecule but atoms used to form this molecule or molecule of a compound are different now as i have mentioned everything around us is matter what is the state of this matter children what is its condition or the phase in which it is present matter naturally occurs in four different states solid wooden box pen your teacher liquid water milk juice gas air oxygen and plasma state of stars whenever lightning occurs plasma is formed but in this chapter we will discuss only about three states solids liquids and gases before i'll come to their properties here i would like to talk about man made states of matter scientists have created some states of matter in laboratory such states are known as man made states there are more than 10 man made states now kids 
coming back to our topic properties of states of matter solid particles and solid are tightly packed they are very close to each other there is strong force of attraction molecular force of attraction among them so they have definite shape they have definite volume for example your wooden box if you will place it in a cupboard or in your drawer its shape will not change similarly if you are going to put this wooden box anywhere it's going to take up the same amount of space right similarly our liquids they also have strong force of attraction among their molecules but it's not as strong as in solids their particles are loosely packed they have definite volume but shape is not definite if you will see in the picture if we will put these liquids in different containers they will take up the shape of the container right water put it in a jar or put it in a glass it will take up the shape of the container coming to gases they are very loosely packed force of attraction between their molecules is very less the force is negligible they don't have definite volume they do not have definite shape we have learned about states of matter is it possible to change the state of matter can solid be converted into liquid or liquid into gas or gas into solid dear children let us take the example of the water water at room temperature is liquid if we will boil it what will happen to it it will be converted into water vapors which is in gaseous state now cover the lid of the container right turn off the knob wait for some time let it cool down once it cools down you will find small water droplets on the lid so our gaseous water water vapor has been converted back into liquid water water droplets it means the state of the water has changed now if we will take this water liquid water and put it in the freezer what will happen if you will go and check early in the morning it has been converted into ice which is the solid form of water children this proves that states of matter can change changing of liquid water on heating into water vapor is known as evaporation conversion of that water vapor back into water droplets is known as condensation similarly melting of ice or conversion of solid water into liquid water is melting in the same manner liquid water when put in freezer is converted into ice which is freezing but here you should remember the most important role played in interchangeability of states of matter is heat heat plays the most important role so when we apply heat liquid can be converted into gas evaporation when we apply heat solid can be converted into liquid melting when we take away heat or decrease the temperature this liquid can be converted into solid that is freezing or gas can be converted into liquid which is condensation so that was about interchangeability of states of matter moving on to next topic changes what are changes change is the process of becoming something different it can be change in size shape color or composition changes are of two different types physical change chemical change talking about physical change physical change means when size shape or color changes but no new compound is formed composition does not change physical changes are generally reversible they are not permanent they are temporary changes in most of the cases look at this picture children what can you see an iceberg iceberg starts melting and gets converted into liquid water liquid water on heating evaporates 
and forms water vapors right on a cold day water vapor will condense and gets converted back into water droplets and during freezing temperatures these water droplets can be converted into ice crystals right children so these chains are temporary an iceberg which is solid can at the end again be converted into solid water crystals such chains are known as temporary chains reversible chains or physical chains now chemical chains what are chemical chains chemical chains are those chains in which one or more new substances are formed right they are mostly permanent or irreversible let us take an example of burning of paper if we will burn paper what will happen the paper will be converted into ash is it possible to change this ash back into paper can we do it no we cannot why because new substance has been formed it's a permanent change we cannot reverse it right kids so this is a chemical change similarly rusting of iron we cannot change it back into new iron right similarly cooking of food once you cook vegetables at home it's not possible for you to get back the raw food such chains are known as chemical chains with this we have completed this chapter so let us recapitulate what all we have learned so far number 1 matter anything that has mass and occupies space is known as matter or anything that has mass and volume that means space occupied by an object that is known as matter then matter is made up of extremely small particles called molecules and molecules are further made up of atoms which are even smaller and these atoms do not combine randomly they come together in definite number and definite manner to form molecules and further molecules make up the matter this matter which we see around us has different states it has been observed that matter occurs in various natural or man made states so we have discussed about three states solid liquid and gas talking about solids the particles in solids are tightly packed they have strong force of attraction among their molecules they have fixed shape and volume liquids loosely packed particles they have fixed volume but they do not have fixed shape gases they are far away from each other i mean the particles are far away from each other right force of attraction is negligible they do not have fixed shape or fixed volume then we discussed about interchangeability of states of matter we said that heat plays an important role if we give heat or take heat we can change the state of matter for example when we are giving heat to liquid water we can evaporate it and form the water vapor which is in the gaseous state right if we take away the heat from these water vapors they will condense and form the liquid water droplets again the state is changing if we will take away heat like putting water at freezing temperature solid ice crystals will be formed and if we will give heat to these ice crystals they will melt to form liquid water moving forward children at the end we discussed about chains so change is becoming something different it can be change in size shape color okay or some new substance is formed so chains are of two different types physical change chemical change physical which are generally temporary chains can be reversed in most of the cases no new substance is formed right similarly chemical chains when new substances are formed i gave you the example of burning of paper or burning of wood if you will burn wood ash is formed you cannot convert ash back to the wooden log that's all about this chapter i hope you have enjoyed this chapter thank you